Oh my god, my hair is looking a hot mess already. I'm not even doing my photo shoot. It's starting to come out from sweat and stuff. Like, hot mess. Mm -hmm. People still get, you know, they still compliment me on it and stuff, but I don't know. The struggle is real. I'm like, it's like quarantine. I'm working from home, which is why I did it. Because if I was like working, working, I probably would not have done this rainbow here anyway. Not in this office. I feel like my old office, I probably could have got away with it. But not not where I am now. But I liked it. I wanted colorful hair. So maybe I might try something else. Maybe like a different texture too. And maybe a one color. <laughs> what? So just quickly, it came up, right? Um, so there's a conversation about being comfortable around your significant other's family. And like a friend of mine, she was called inside social because she, I guess, wasn't acting the way that, you know, her, her significant other acts around his family. He was expecting her to be extra social i don't know but people really forget that even though they're dating you they're still not going to be 100 percent comfortable with you your family because they're not you like they're comfortable with you because you have that intimacy you have that friendship you have that long relationship but their parents siblings whatever it's not the same and you can't expect people to just hop in it doesn't matter how long, five years, ten years, it's not gonna be a hundred percent comfort like you are. It just it just doesn't happen like that. I mean, not all the time anyway. I guess sometimes, but it's rare that somebody can just pop in and be like, Oh, we're family. It to me anyway, I feel like yes, I'm gonna be comfortable with your family or whatever, but it's never gonna be like it's my family. You know what I mean? Like if my boyfriend has a sister I'm not going to be as close with her as I will be with my sister. We can get close, as close as, let's say, close friends can get, like a BFF type thing, which people say, you know, that's my sister, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. And maybe it's because I have four sisters that I don't ever think, no matter how close I am to anybody, I can be like, oh, yeah, that's like my sister. No, we're just really, really, really close. But I can't say, you know, sister and mean it like sister. But I guess that's... I don't know that's just me that's the way I am because I've had really really close friends and really close friends in the past that I don't even talk to now so how sisterly is it like my sister no matter what happens any of my sisters we do whatever we have our issues but we're gonna always come back because we're sisters that's how we are so for me that's that's like the big difference for me like your family is 1000% forever it doesn't matter me and somebody else's family somebody else's friends whatever you're not permanent to me anyway like it's not a permanent thing and you can always be gone tomorrow that's how i feel because we, have anything. we will hope nothing happens but this is the reality of life so i don't know maybe it's just me i don't what y'all think what you think you feel like somebody can really be like legitimately like family because I know y'all be like, oh, my husband's mom, my wife's mom, my girlfriend's mom, my boyfriend's mom. So cool. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You know, that's like my mother for real, for real. 